Hi, my name's Leah Rocchetto. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Rhode Island. As a woman, what means the most to you? As a woman, what's most important to me is being respected by everyone around me, be it my female co-workers, my guy friends on my flag football team, my co-dancers. Um, I think respect is really important to me personally as a woman. I think it's something that's lacking in the world today. I don't think as many women get the respect they have earned or rightfully deserve either. Did you ever get made fun of when you were a kid? If so, what did they tease you about? I unfortunately was the victim of a lot of teasing as a child, um, both from my peers and even from some of my family members. I think the hardest thing for me was when I was little, my family, from my sister to my parents to my cousins, they all called me pork butt, um, which to me um, was really hurtful. And looking back on it now, I realized that they were being very sarcastic because I was the tiniest person in my family. But when you're seven, you don't know what sarcasm is. You don't get it. You take everything at face value. And to me, that was being told I was fat. And that really stuck with me. I've also been called stupid, ugly, a bitch. Um, yeah, I've gotten picked on a lot. And, you know, I've had a lot of, you know, how girls can be in high school. You get a lot of rumors spread about you. And... That's never fun. It's never fun to deal with. So, yeah, I'd say to say I got made fun of as a kid was an understatement. I was very much made fun of and picked on for a lot of my childhood and even into my teenage years. I tease about a lot of things. I mean, when you're in elementary school, you know, you get the typical, I wore glasses, so I got called four eyes. I had braces, so I got called train tracks and metal mouth, all those fun things. And those kind of things don't didn't bother me because it was like oh whatever like four eyes how original it was more being made fun of for my weight or for my intelligence or even just for my appearance um those things are really hard to deal with, especially when you're a you know five ten fifteen year old girl those things really affect you and it's hard and, um you know i got called fat a lot when i was younger and because of that, I unfortunately developed an eating disorder, which it sucks. You never want to be the girl with the eating disorder. Um, and I became very self-conscious about my appearance and my weight and always trying to make sure I was under a certain weight to the point where it was unhealthy and I was grossly, unattractively thin. And it's horrible. It's, it's sad what name calling and teasing can do whether it's someone who's really mean and saying it to try to hurt you or whether it's someone who's sarcastically saying it because you're the exact opposite i mean you don't realize how much words affect you until you're looking in a mirror and you can see your collarbones because you're starving yourself thin because someone called you pork butt when you were seven years old so got made fun of a lot and it obviously had an effect on me. I never thought I was thin or pretty or smart, and it's tough. What makes you unique? I think what makes me unique is, well, it's tough. Sometimes I look at myself, I don't really think I'm that unique. I think I'm just kind of like every other 20-something woman who's trying to figure her way through the world, figure herself out. Um, and guess what makes me unique? Hmm. I think what makes me unique is my ability to really take things and learn from them. You know, you learn after having an eating disorder for however many years and being diagnosed with depression when you were 13, you kind of learn how to overcome things a little easier um, and every time you fall it gets a little easier to pick yourself back up so 
you know, I have a lot of bad stuff happen to me, but I think what makes me unique is my ability to pick myself up from it and kind of keep going no matter what happens. Do you consider yourself a confident woman? I think confidence is something that, to me, it's a daily thing. Um, as a child, as a teenager, I was not confident at all. I, like I said, I suffered from an eating disorder and I had severe body image issues. I was depressed and in my town when you were, di if you were diagnosed with depression or you went to see a psychologist, you were considered crazy and weird. So those kind of things made me lack confidence in myself. Um, but I think every day I wake up a little more confident than I was the day before. And I also think since leaving school and surrounding myself with better people and really embracing my family a little more, I think that's helped me become more confident. But I think for me, confidence is a daily struggle. You know, I wake up and, you know, each day when I wake up, if I feel a little more confident, I think that's a good thing. Am I 100% confident in myself? No. I'd be lying to you if I said that. I think most women would be lying to you if they said that. But do I have confidence in myself in certain aspects? Absolutely. And in the areas where I'm lacking, it grows a little more every day. If you could change one thing about you, would you? If yes, what would it be and why? I think every woman wants to change something about herself. And of course, the vapid and shallow side of me wishes I could change my Wait, I wish my tummy was a little flatter. I wish my legs were a little more toned. I wish my ass wasn't so big. I mean, I think those are all things I would love to see different about myself, but more than anything, I would love to be more confident and have more confidence in myself. If I did, the little things like that, the size of my stomach, butt, legs, everything wouldn't bother me so much if I was a little more confident. So if I could change one thing about myself, I wish I was 100% confident in myself in every aspect of my life because confidence, it makes you happy. Confidence gives you the ability to face adversity head on and deal with it. And I think more than anything, confidence gives you respect. When people see a confident woman walk into a boardroom or walk down the street or you know, just shopping at the local store. People respect that woman and they want to be that woman. I want to be that woman that people look at and they're like, wow, she kicks ass. I want to be her. So confidence. I wish I had more confidence. How do you see the glass? Half full or half empty? If you asked me this five years ago, maybe even five months ago, I would say the glass is half empty because when you're dealing with a lot of difficult things, it's harder to see the bright side, it's harder to be positive. But now that I've learned, now that I've overcome those difficulties and I'm learning to be a little happier, I definitely see the glass as half full. And Hopefully someday I'll see it as 100% full, even if it really is only half full, because that's what confidence and happiness brings to you. It brings you that positive outlook and seeing the brighter side of things, the greener grass, the half full glass. So right now I see the glass is half full and I hope it stays that way.